Hey guys, it's Kevin and the Smarter for Bates Motel Season 3, Episode 5, The Deal. And this was by far the best episode of the season. We are now halfway through the season, and wow, you can definitely tell after this episode. I mean, so much shit happened in this episode, and so much went down in this episode, and I absolutely love it about this episode. But let's just get into it because it was amazing, and there were so many amazing things out of this episode, and so much crazy shit that happened in this episode, so let's just get into it because it was amazing. So we start off and we see Dylan is asleep in his truck outside of the beer country barn. And basically, um, the next scene shows Norman getting tailgated by a black Mercedes. And then they're forced off the road, leaving her car stuck in the mud. And she's bleeding from the accident. And the black Mercedes returns and the driver warns Norma that she needs to meet with Bob Paris. And he tells her that they know she has something that belongs to them and... Basically, it's the flash drive. You can tell that that's what he's talking about. Basically, Norma threatens to call Romero, but the man tells her that he cannot save her nor himself, and Romero continue. basically... I thought that was really interesting, and she's all upset at him. She's yelling and everything. She's pissed. It was... It was... It was really... That was a really good way to start the episode. So, Romero is still investigating about the two girls, um, including Annika, you know, Annika and Lindsay and... A man named Stan reveals to Romero that he did not see someone down by the channel, but he didn't think much of it at the time, and now he is thinking about it. So he did see someone down there, but he just didn't really think about it. So you can tell that definitely there was something that definitely happened there. We don't know what it is, but you can just tell that definitely something happened. Um, so I thought that was really interesting that we saw that. I mean... He's finding out more, we're seeing that, and I really like seeing that now, you know, he's starting to find find out more clues, because, I mean, we're as lost as Romero is. Romero still doesn't fully know what's going on, he doesn't have a complete idea what's going on, and we're just like Romero, we're as lost as him. So, I like that each episode they're giving us more and more clues, and I definitely really like that, so... Basically, we see after this that um, Norman Norma reveal Norman reveals to Emma that he had to tell Norma that her brother Caleb was staying with Dylan behind her back, and I was surprised that he actually told her. And he tells Emma all about it. And basically, Dylan comes home. He's really hungover, and Norman apologized to Dylan. And I thought it was interesting the way that um, Emma took it. She doesn't really take it in a certain way. She doesn't really, you know. Um, she isn't really surprised by it, probably just because of how close that Norma and Norman are. I mean, you know that whenever Norman finds out something, he's going to tell Norma. That's just how close their bonding is. And you can tell that Emma wasn't really shocked by this, definitely. Um, so Dylan comes home. He's really hungover. Obviously, he fell asleep in a truck. So basically, he um, Norman apologized to Dylan, but he says he had to tell Norm about Caleb, and Dylan's leaving the house and gets a phone call that his mother's in the hospital after being in an accident, and basically, um, this this right here, this scene was amazing, and Dylan's apologized to Norma, but she has no idea about Caleb, and basically, I'm like, well, why would Norman think that? Clearly, he's thinking that he told Norma, but he didn't tell Norma, so why is he telling Dylan that he told Norma when he didn't tell Norma? That doesn't really make any sense, so Norma tells Dylan that Norman's blackouts are getting out of control and that she doesn't want to give up the flash drive because she really needs money. She needs the money, and that's the way she's going to get the money, is if use the flash drive as maybe blackmail for money, and I thought that was honestly a really good plan when she came up with there. I thought that was really good, um, so... Basically, we we also see that, you know, she you can definitely tell that Norman's blackouts are getting out of control. And this is probably the most they've talked about as blackouts in any episode besides the season finale, which I love seeing. So Romero meets with Bob Paris and asks him what he was being blackmailed for. And basically, Bob flat out tells Romero that he's looking for a flash drive and he doesn't know who has it. He thinks that Norma has it and he says that Romero left him no choice but to bring someone in to take his job and it's Marcus. Now Marcus, as I said, this is a guy that wants to replace Romero and they're definitely going to have a lot of clashing. And when he came in, I'm like, this is not going to end well because we know that Marcus wants to take Romero's job. We know that he doesn't really trust Romero. Arrow, and we know that they're already feuding a lot. So he tells Romero that Norma has a flash drive and he needs to get it from her because it's not good that she has a flash drive. You know, there she doesn't really know what she's doing with it. She's not the best person to have it. It's really in the wrong hands, and it's not a good idea that she has a flash drive. So he he has to do whatever he can to get the flash drive out of her hands and put it back in the right hands. 
So Dylan returns to Norman and can't understand why Norman believes he told Nora about Caleb because he didn't. And Dylan tells Norman to stay out of it and to not tell Norma because, you know, Norma's already... And I, I honestly agree with Dylan because, I mean, Norma's already so stressed out. She's so stressed out. She has no idea what's going on that the best thing to do is to not tell Norma about it because... She's already, it'll just make her more stressed out. It'll give her more things to worry about. And she's already such a, you know, such a nervous wreck that it's just going to make her more upset. So why do that to her? So in the meantime, Caleb is suffering over the estranged relationship he has with Norma. And basically, it, that's understandable why he's suffering over it. I mean, him and Norma, he just wants to see Norma again. He doesn't, he, you know, he knows that he can't see Norma again, but he really feels bad on what he wants to do. And I like that he legitimately wants to apologize to Norma, especially because last year he came back. You didn't really know if he was a good guy or a bad guy. It just shows how much his character has evolved from mental now. And I really like seeing that. As I said before, that's one of my favorite things about this season. Seasons. Just the way they are redeeming Caleb, they're redeeming him more and more within every episode, and I absolutely love that they're doing that. So well done, and just, it's it's great the way they're doing that. And even though he is with Dylan, obviously he knows he can't see Norma, but he wants to see Norma, and it's just really sad overall. So... In the next scene, Norma's shown waiting at a bus stop, and her teacher friend James Finnegan drives up. Of course, the psychologist, and he offers to he offers her a ride and a bite to eat. And over their meal together, James offers his professional strength services and also admits to being highly attracted to Norma, which pleases her. And I'm like. I like them together, but they're, st they're setting up Romero and Norma so much that I don't think that they're going to get together. I think that Romero and Norma are going to get together, especially a scene in this episode. I definitely feel like they're setting them up together. I mean, just think about how much Romero is doing for Norma, and they're such closer this season that I feel like we're definitely going to get Romero and Norma and not um, James and Norma. I like James and Norma, but I definitely want to see Romero and Norma over James and Norma. So in the meantime, Caleb and Dylan become moderately friendly with their neighbor who offers Caleb a job as a driver, which I thought was really good for Caleb, that he actually got a job uh, as a driver, which was awesome. And basically, we see later on at home, Norman lets Norman know that he had a blackout that morning, which clearly upsets him because he knows that these blackouts are not a good thing. And Norma hugs and kisses her son, telling him that she will always be there for him. And yeah, I'm going to call bullshit on that because of the end of this episode. So Norman decides not to tell her about Caleb then. And it, 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 again, it was probably the best thing to do. Just not make her more stressed out. She's already so stressed out. Don't put more stress on her. So Norman goes into his mother's closet, and we start to see symptoms of him in his psycho persona. We start to see the Norman personality start to um, evolve here, and I really love seeing this. Because he looks at this blue and white dress of hers, and he's, just, he's clutching it, he's smelling it. And then he hides the dress under his mattress, and that to me is showing that the Norman personality is starting to come more into, is starting to become more and more like Norman. You can definitely tell, because I mean, by psycho, the Norman person now he's officially taken over Norman, and it's not happened yet, but we're definitely getting to that point now where we're definitely going to see it. Because as I said before, I think Base Motel is going to last for four seasons, and the last episode of the season is called The Psycho, and I'm pretty sure that that is foreshadowing that Norman is going to kill Norma. I definitely feel like, that, like that's where we're going. So... Gunner finds a flash drive in the timer at Dylan's property where Dylan has hit it, and he manages to open it on his computer, and of course, we don't know what's on it, because if you remember, they couldn't open it, they needed a code and everything, and basically tells Dylan what he's found in it, and we don't know what's on it and everything, and basically Dylan races to his mother's house and tells her that there's, we find out what's on there. There's a legal revenue from the drug trade on the flash drive that could put half the town in prison. So, why would Annika give this to her? I kind of feel like Annika gave her this flash drive to maybe benefit Norma, to maybe help her out a little bit. But if it's going to put the whole town at risk, why the fuck would you give her this flash drive? Like, what is on there that you don't want her to see? I, I don't understand what she wanted her to see on that flash drive if it's drug trade. I don't understand that. Maybe she's involved in it. Maybe there's something else on there she doesn't want to see. I don't know. All we know is that there's a legal revenue from the drug trade on that flash drive. They didn't really go into more detail about it so I don't really know if there's something else that's on that flash drive because they didn't further examine the flash drive they didn't see what else is on there they just clicked it off immediately because they're like holy shit this is gonna put us in danger so 
basically they tell her that she has to tell Romero, which she does have to tell Romero. I mean, Romero, she need, he needs to know about this. He needs to know what's going on. The, the best person to tell is Romero. It's better to tell Romero than to not tell Romero. And I definitely agree that, you know, the best thing to do is definitely tell Romero what's going on. So, basically, Romero finds another dead body, because, and this is just weird that he keeps finding all these dead bodies, and the thing is, is it Norman that's killing these people? I don't really know. I feel like there's another serial killer out there. I don't feel like Norman has gone to that place yet where he's just killing people left and right. I feel like there's some other serial killer out there that we just don't know about yet. Who it is, I'm not certain. I'm not certain who it is. I don't really want to think. I don't really know who else it could be. But I think I don't think it's Norman that's doing this. I'm, I'm going to say that right now. I don't think Norman is the one that's causing these murders. And I don't think they should accuse Norman of doing this. Even though I'm pretty sure they're eventually going to accuse Norman of doing this. Because who else would? So... Norma goes to his house and does what she has to do. She tells him about the flash drive, and I'm, sh I'm happy she told him. And she tells Romero what's on the flash drive and says she wants his help. And Norma asks Romero to accompany her to meet Bob Paris so that she can blackmail him and finally have the upper hand and basically get the job back from him. Because the whole thing with the bypass last season, they're starting to close that. And I love the way they close that in this episode. So Romero warns her about the fire she's playing with, and this angers her. And then I love her speech here about how the only, you know, she has this really great monologue about how the only reason that he doesn't trust her is because she's a woman and if she was a man he would be a lot more um you know he'd be a lot less um worried he'd be a lot more helpful and a lot more um you know wanting to and he doesn't want to because she's a woman i thought that was a really good um thing overall especially she talks about all the drama in her life and how much she's been through and I don't think it's so much that it's because she's a woman. I think it's just because she's very, very delicate, and she's already in so much drama. Why get her in more? I think that's really what it's about. So, basically, she, he does agree to help her, but they meet with Bob Paris, and Norma tells him that she'd like to get rid of the problem she has with the bypass that's being built. And she asks for an exit that leads her to a... To that, uh, I thought it was interesting. She actually asks for an exit that leads to her motel, a pool, and a billboard of some sort so that she can keep her business intact. And basically, she will be able to do that. And Bob Paris actually accepts the deal, which I thought was interesting. I didn't think that he'd accept that deal, but no, he accepts the deal from her, and he even seems pretty interesting interested in working with her so I really like that he accepted the deal I didn't think he would accept the deal but he did and I thought it was surprising but it almost appears like it's just a little bit too easy like it just went too easy and went too well for them I don't really know what, what do you guys think so this last scene in the episode I absolutely love the last scene of this episode it was by far the best scene of this episode and the best best scene of the season so Dylan comes to Dylan. Who's Dylan? <laughs> Dylan comes to Norman and lets him know that he promises to tell Norma about Caleb being in town. Which I like that Dylan said that. I mean, it probably is the best thing to tell Norman now she's not as stressed. And Norman tells Dylan that none of it is. And I, I actually like what Norman says here that none of it is his fault and that he'll help Dylan with Norma if he can in any way. And Norman actually tells Dylan that something's, he knows something is wrong with him and that he doesn't want to be a violent person because he doesn't like this side of himself and he's tired of just having these weird blackouts. But here's the thing. As much as Norman wants to fix it, we know that he can't fix it, but I like seeing Norman actually, you know, realize that there is something wrong with him because I think that's actually the first time that we see that Norman realizes something's wrong because I don't think we've ever actually seen Norman realizing that there's something wrong with him. I think that's the only the first time that Norman's ever addressed it, and I like that he addressed it because it fi finally, after three seasons, he's finally realized that, oh my god, something's wrong with me. He's finally realized that, and he's realized that he's not normal, which Norman's not normal. Let's face that right now. Norman is not a normal person. So... The two hug, and basically, he's, he doesn't want to be a violent person, doesn't like to see that side of himself. The two hug it out, and I'm wondering if Dylan's going to try to help Norman. I mean, after that, I think Norman had Dylan's back. He did not tell Norma about Caleb, so Dylan should repay Norman and try to get him some help. I think that's what Dylan's going to try to do. He's such a good brother to Norman that I definitely feel like that's where we're going. So... 
Nora returns to find them both sitting at the kitchen table quietly together, and Dylan tells Norma that Caleb's in town and that he's been helping him out, and Norman asks Norma to hear Dylan out, but Dylan tells Norma the whole thing about the situation and tells her that Caleb feels terrible to, about everything he did to Norma, and he really wants to apologize to her, wants to, you know, connect with her, and Dylan then tells her that Caleb just wants to talk to her to apologize, and Norma has no idea how to react to this. I mean, she just realized that this guy, I mean, I can understand why Norma's so upset. I mean, he raped her after all those years, and she doesn't want anything to do with him, and Dylan didn't tell her. I think she's more upset of the, uh, the fact that he's back, less that they just told her. She listens in silence and then leaves the table. She frantically starts pacing. She, you know, she's packing up all of her lawnings, and I'm just like, where are you going? And she's in the bathroom. She pulls a gun out from under her mattress, tells the boys to leave her alone. Dylan holds Norman back as he tries to go after his mother. She races out of the house. Emma watches as Norma shouts to Norman that his brother will take care of him, and she doesn't know how to react to this anymore. Norman then screams mother as Norma speeds away in her car, and that's how the episode ends. So... I don't know where Norma's going. I don't want to say that I know where Norma's going because I don't know where she's going. I don't know where she went. I don't know if she's... I mean, I'm sure she's coming back, but I don't know where she's going. Clearly, Dylan's going to look after Norman now, and I'm interested in seeing what's actually going to end up happening because... Now I just I want to see what happens now. I mean, now that um, and I feel like now that Dylan that Norman knows something's wrong, then I feel like Dylan's gonna try to help him out. I mean, that would be the best thing for him to do. That would be the best thing for him to do as his brother and just to be a good brother to him. The best thing to do is to help him out, and I definitely feel like that's you know that's that's what they he should just do. Just do a good thing for your brother, help him out. That'd be great. Um. As far as this whole thing goes with Norman being aware of his blackouts, I mean, I definitely feel like we're getting to that point where the Norma personality is starting to come forward. You can tell it's starting to come forward. You can tell it's starting to become more of his daily life. Him looking at that dress is evidence that's starting to come forward. I mean, you can definitely tell. And I really like seeing that. That was probably one of the highlights of the episode, honestly, was just seeing him look at that dress and realizing that there's something wrong with him. I mean, I thought that was really well done. Um, now that Emma saw this, is Emma going to become more aware of what's going on with Norman? She, Norman hasn't told her anything about the blackout. She doesn't know any of that. So is she going to find out about it? I mean, I, I've said before, he's going to scare her off. He's going to scare her off. We'll see what happens there. Um, Caleb. What is Caleb going to do here? Is Caleb going to try to connect with Norma? I'm going to say this right now. Caleb, the best thing for Caleb to do is not to connect with Norma. If he tries to connect with Norma, he's only making things worse. I understand he wants to see Norma again. He wants to fix the beef between them. You know, he really wants to patch things up. But the best thing to do is to leave Norma, Norma alone. You know, she's terrified of her mind. She has no idea what to do right now. The best thing to do is to leave Norma alone. And I understand Caleb really doesn't want to do that, but he needs to do that. In this situation, he has to leave Norma alone. Um, is this new business opportunity with uh, Bob Paris going to work. Is it a good idea? We'll see what happens there. Norman Romero, I definitely feel like you're getting a lot closer. I feel they definitely are going to get together by the end of this season. And again, we're halfway through the season. The last episode's called The Psycho. So I definitely feel like we're getting to that point. And I really do love that we're getting to that point because I think that's honestly really awesome. I mentioned seeing what's going to happen there. Um, and uh, so definitely I'm looking forward to next week's episode. This was an amazing episode. As I said, by far best episode of the season. Let me know what you guys saw this episode. Absolutely loved this episode. So much crazy shit is going down this season, and I love it. I love that Norman's becoming more aware of his blackouts. I love that Dylan's going to help him out. We're going to see what happens in the next week's episode. Um, what do you think is going to happen between Dylan and Norman? Is, he, is Dylan going to try to do something for Norman? I don't know. We'll see. But that's in my review. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you guys in my next review, which is my review for the season finale of Better Call Saul. So I will see you guys for that. Okay, bye.